want to begin by saying Heishka to my colleague Adam Olson. Heishka, and we acknowledge that we are on the territory of the Swatsonich territory of the Wasanich people, and we accept their hospitality with gratitude. Heishka. Welcome here for the launch of the Green Party election campaign, an extraordinary campaign. Here on the shores of the Salish Sea, where we collectively here today are our British Columbia, some of our British Columbia MPs, most of our Vancouver Island MPs, recommitting to protecting the Salish Sea. This may be somewhat unorthodox. I, I hope my colleagues will accept that uh, a very great Canadian passed away last week, and her funeral is today in Ottawa, and under other circumstances, I would have been there uh, for Flora MacDonald's funeral at Christ Church Cathedral. I, she was my friend, but she was also, for all of my life, my role model. She exemplified what it is to be Canadian and to represent the Canada we love. And although it may be somewhat unusual, I, I just want to say that I'm... I'd like to dedicate the Green Party campaign in this election to the memory of Flora MacDonald. She stood for principle. She was unwavering in her dignity, her in integrity. And I ask each and every one of our candidates, and those of you, many of you are young, you may not have ever known Flora MacDonald or the sight of her in Parliament standing with her back ramrod straight with such dignity while all around her were other people sort of yapping. Uh, <laughs> I think of Flora and I ask our candidates to try to meet that high bar she set of grace, humor, dignity, diplomacy, and a selfless devotion to Canada. Just moments ago, Stephen Harper visited Rideau Hall and launched what will be one of the longest election campaigns in Canadian history, the longest in 140 years. It will be 11 days. weeks. I just heard the Prime Minister claim quite extraordinarily that this would not cost Canadian taxpayers more. My friends, he changed in the so-called Fair Elections Act, which of course is known generally across Canada as the Unfair Elections Act, he changed the rules to allow longer writ periods to allow parties to spend more money. Now, it's true, the rules are absolutely fair. The Green Party is equally allowed to spend $50 million in the next 11 weeks. <laughs> and quite fairly, they have more money in the bank because people have given them that money, quite right. But what isn't right is to claim that the taxpayers aren't subsidizing this election. It's going to cost Canadians tens of millions of dollars more because for all those horrible attack ads we're about to hear, we'll be bludgeoned in our own homes by attack ads. And every single attack ad, we're paying for half. And over the course of an election campaign of $50 million, of course the Conservatives get more money through this change, and they hope it disadvantages the others. And I say to Stephen Harper, shame on you for doing that. It costs taxpayers tens of millions of dollars more. Despite this cynical launching of a campaign, the cynical motivations, I want to say to Canada that the Green Party is ready. Le Parti Vert est prêt. The Green Party Et is ready. At this time, nous sommes, we are, évident, évidemment, nous sommes ébloissants. We are, we are shining. We are ready and we are happy to take on this challenge.